guys, welcome to a new video. I am Val, if you are new here. And on my channel, I discuss everything relax related. Any tips and tricks that have helped me throughout my hair journey to help me retain length, to help me in my relaxer process, I always share with you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss any videos from me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips that have helped me retain length. Back when I cut my hair, this is such an overdue video. I'm so sorry, I do apologize, but I've received so many questions comments, emails regarding how I retained length after I cut my hair and then five months later I did share a post on my Instagram showing my progress afterwards and a lot of people were quite shocked. I was actually shocked myself. So this video is basically geared towards sharing with you guys exactly what I did during those five months, what I did to basically achieve those results and to be honest it's very simple so if you're interested stay tuned. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys five easy things that I did during the time that I cut my hair to my progress. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. April of 2019, I cut my hair and I want to say it was just about bra strap or a little bit above there. And then in June, I relaxed my hair and I also did a trim and I did a relaxer update video on that as well. And then September, I did a relaxer and a trim. So just keep that in mind. I didn't skip my trims. I trimmed each and every relaxer. So obviously, you guys know I wash and deep condition like clockwork. I wash and deep condition twice a week. So when I say wash, I just mean one shampoo. Um, and that's typically on a Sunday. So I'll shampoo, deep condition, I'll do my protein treatments. And then midweek, I'll wash again. I notice that my hair retains way more moisture. Um, my scalp is cleansed twice in that week. So that blood flow is there. My scalp is getting the nutrients that it needs. It's getting stimulated. So that also produces more hair growth. Staying on top of my moisture and protein has been key and a good way to know if your hair needs protein or moisture is to feel it like you actually have to feel your hair look at your strands are they breaking with little to no manipulation if your hair is breaking with little to no manipulation at all like you're just touching it and it snaps that is a key indication that you need moisture if your hair is stretching and stretching and it feels limp and gooey and you know too overly stretchy then you know you need protein but for me I find that my hair needs that weekly dose of protein or even bi-weekly now I'm noticing that my hair doesn't need as much protein as it did before so I always assess and see how my hair feels and then I choose either moisture or protein but typically I'm on that protein schedule where I do it once a week or bi-weekly and that's been working for me because I hydrate so much I can use protein that often so shampooing once a week for me has been key deep conditioning twice a week or even just skipping that second deep condition and co-washing being consistent and with that, I've seen amazing results. And I have changed a product, and if you guys are key followers of me, you guys know exactly what that product is. So s is still around, don't get me wrong, I still use it, but it's more so towards the end of my relaxer stretch when my new growth is really full and thick and it needs and craves moisture. But the As I Am So Much Moisture hair lotion has been my go-to. I absolutely love it. You guys have seen me use it on several of my um, protective style videos and just me moisturizing my hair. I've been using that. Actually, a few other of my hair sisters have been using it too and absolutely love the results. So I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it out and you're looking for something that really moisturizes hydrates your hair gives you that softness that manageability that you're looking for that has been a game changer for me the moisture has been so high level in my hair and the actual words so much moisture is so true because it gives your hair so much moisture and I don't wait till my hair is dry to moisturize and I think that's another thing a lot of people um, don't really comprehend don't wait till your hair is dry to moisturize it that's a little too late you want to keep that moisture level that moisture momentum going in your hair so that it doesn't get to a point where it snaps crackle pop break off we want to moisturize before it gets dehydrated that way you're keeping that moisture momentum going I just made up a new word Wow moisture and momentum guys I always moisturize before it gets dry and I typically do it daily but with this moisturizer I can go maybe every other day or every two days because it has that much moisture power in it so I'll use the as I am so much moisture lotion to moisturize and then I'll seal with jojoba oil as you guys know so my moisturizing and sealing routine was extremely crucial especially after I cut my hair I just vowed that I'm gonna be doing it every night or every other night and I noticed a huge change in my ends and I didn't have to cut off as much when I did trim so as I said before guys don't wait till your hair is super dry to moisturize it keep that moisture momentum going and you'll notice a difference in hydration your elasticity will improve and you'll retain length as a result 
Okay, so on to trims. As I mentioned, I cut my hair in April. I trimmed in June and I also trimmed in September. And then I showed you my progress at that point. There's a huge misconception out there that if you trim your hair, you're not gonna retain length. I don't understand. Now, for the sisters that don't trim their hair, trim your hair. Trim your hair. <laughs> you're doing yourself a disservice, an injustice, everything all the above. Don't hang on to these spin scraggly ends just for the sake of length. Trim your ends, you will still retain length keep a nice consistent schedule take care of your ends baby your ends pay attention to them apply product to them first and you will see a difference let me be a testament to the fact that you can still retain length and trim your hair I've been there I've done it I just want to encourage you guys don't hang on to the see-through ends let it go release and let it go as you guys know I trim with every relaxer I don't trim at home I trim with my stylist he takes off maybe quarter of an inch to half an inch and that's it I used to trim every other relaxer but I found that I had to cut off more when I skipped with every other relaxer. Me being on a schedule has been so beneficial and I see the difference in my hair and I was still able to retain length. So during that five month period, um, I protected style a lot. I did my low sleep bun that you guys see me do on my channel here. I wore that style basically every day. <laughs> um, I love it because it's it's cute, it's neat, it's sleek. You can wear it anywhere. I can wear it while I'm freshly relaxed or while I'm stretching my relaxer. Just a little bit of edge control, a little bit of gel if needed. Tie it down with my scarf and I'm good to go. Um, I love that style because I'm able to retain length. My hair retains moisture because the ends are twisted. The moisture is locked in. So it allows me to keep my hands out of my hair. I did enjoy my hair like on weekends. I would wear a ponytail or I would do like a braid out, something like this. But I really kept it simple during that time frame just so I can retain as much length as I could. So when I receive comments like that, do you sleep in protective styles? I never do. I always take my hair down every night. I always ensure my hair is moisturized, covered with a satin scarf and bonnet, um, just so that my hair can retain that moisture throughout the night. So another thing that I did was baggy my ends. So if you're not familiar with the term bagging, it's basically moisturizing and sealing your hair first and then placing a plastic shower cap or bag of some sort over your ends. So it can be in a ponytail or it can be over your entire head. I typically like to do it over my entire head with a shower cap. That way the moisture can really generate into my hair, into my scalp, on my ends, all over. And I leave that on maybe an hour or so. Sometimes I would sleep in it overnight. I would do this maybe twice a week, typically after wash day, just to regenerate more moisture back into my hair. I absolutely loved it. My hair was soft, it was smooth, it was just hydrated. And that's what you need, just to bring back that elasticity back into the hair. I did that consistently over those five months and my hair took off. I was able to retain a lot of length despite me having those trims in between. Um, and as you guys know, I do give my hair a healthy dose of protein, so it didn't really throw off my moisture protein balance. And that's another thing, you really have to know how much protein you're getting, how much moisture you're getting before you incorporate bagging because it can really throw you off. So just be careful with that. I wouldn't recommend doing it over twice a week, um, if that. But you know your hair best and what it craves and what it really needs. And as a bonus tip, be consistently consistent. I can't preach this enough. Those are the words I live by in my hair regimen and I always say this to my followers and my hair sisters out there. I know it can be hard at times, but you got this. You can do this. Healthy hair is yours. Claim it. But try to invest in your hair. Your hair is what you wear every single day. You know, there's a lot of other things out there that you can invest in. Wigs, weaves, braids, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, this is yours. So take care of it. But simplicity is key to retaining length. I can't stress that enough. I kept things very minimal um, and very consistent. If you enjoyed this video guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave some comments below as to what helps you retain length. What are your go-to tips to really keep the hair on your head and keep your hair moisturized and strong and healthy. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.